everybody, welcome back. It's week number nine of Ashes Fantasy Facts here at sports.ktar.com. We're back in the boardroom. Let's get serious because we get to week number nine, and this is when pretenders become contenders, and contenders, you get it, vice versa. This is when we got, try to win our leagues, win our divisions, and head to the playoffs right in these weeks. So let's be serious. Let's get this thing done. Had a lot of hits last week as far as don't play this guy. Although the guys I told you to play, they didn't really do a whole lot. Like I said, it was a weird week. Let's get right to it. Week nine, a lot of bye weeks. Six of them again. Don't forget Denver and San Fran. They played in London. Hello. They get a week off for doing that. Also, Jacksonville, St. Louis, Tennessee, and Washington. Those six teams not playing. Let's get right to it. Quarterback position. A few quarterbacks I like this week. Big Ben Roethlisberger. Cincinnati secondary is all banged up. I know it's on the road. It's Monday night in Cincinnati. I still like Big Ben in that one. I also like Mark Sanchez. Now, I said I liked him last week, and he put up a big old goose egg. He won't do that two weeks in a row. They're taking on Detroit. Detroit usually gets into shootouts. I like the Jets to hopefully find their offense. Otherwise, uh, the head coach out there might lose his mind. Ryan might drop a few bombs, if you know what I'm saying. Now, I got a couple tread lightlies at the quarterback position. I'm not digging on Josh Freeman. I saw him in person. He was good last week in Arizona. I don't think he'll do that again at Atlanta. I don't like Tampa at all this week. And Matt Castle going to Oakland. This is going to be a tough task for the first place Chiefs. I think Oakland in their tough pass defense shuts down the right, Chiefs. Let's go to the running back position. At running back this week, I'm loving myself some Michael Turner. Again, I'm not liking Tampa Bay. They had the 31st rush defense in the NFL. Cardinals couldn't figure out a way to run against them. It's all right. Atlanta will. Michael Turner goes off this week. You got him. Start him. You're going to love him. Trust me. Uh, ben Jarvis Green Ellis. I like his start. New England running back against Cleveland. He's been pretty consistent for the Patriots ever since they've been giving him the rock. And Thomas Jones or Jamal Charles, both Kansas City running backs, they'll be just fine against Oakland. My tread lightly is at running back. Arian Foster. I know he's been really good. This is a, a game at home for them, taking on San Diego. But San Diego's the number one rush defense in the league. I'm not looking for a big week from Arian Foster. So tread lightly. Probably play him unless you have another backup that's better. But instead, uh, just know that you might not get good, good point production from him. And LeGarrette Blunt, he has out, you know, coming out party this past weekend, jumping over Kerry Rhodes, running over Kerry Rhodes. Problem is, Kerry Rhodes is not playing in this game for Atlanta. The Falcons are, and they will shut down LeGarrette Blunt. I don't like him this week. Let's move on to the wide receiver position. Wide receiver. How about Steve Johnson, the wide receiver no one knows about? You better know because he's got five straight games with at least one touchdown. Can you say Ryan Fitzpatrick has a favorite target in Buffalo? Steve Johnson, if you got him, start him. Also, Greg Jennings or Donald Driver this week against Dallas. And believe it or not, even though I don't think the Cardinals win this week, Larry Fitzgerald's going home. And he's taking on the Minnesota Vikings. He's going to have a lot of people there. I think Fitz has a big week. My tread lightly at, at uh, wide receiver, Dwayne Bow going up against Oakland. Again, Asamoah has a, ten a tendency to shut some people down. And tread lightly with any. Dallas wide receiver because I was wrong. John Kitna sucks, and I would not play any wide receivers from the Dallas Cowboys. That includes Miles Austin. Let's go on to my sleeper of the week, and it happens to be in the Arizona Cardinal-Minnesota Viking game. Sleeper big time here. Brett Favre. I know you're probably thinking I'm crazy here. I'm not talking about taking pictures. I'm not doing that. I'm thinking Brett Favre is actually going to have a good game. I don't like this matchup for Arizona. Brett Favre, all this controversy going on all week. This is the kind of game that Brett Favre snaps out of it, has a great game, and everyone forgets all the other stuff. I like Brett Favre, sleeper of the week, even without Randy Moss this weekend. And now time for my dud of the week. My dud of the week this week, T.O., Terrell Owens. He called out Donovan McNabb on his reality show. That's not good karma, brother. You can't do that. I think T.O. gets shut down going up against Pittsburgh. T.O.'s had a nice year, but the Steelers will shut him down on Monday night. That's it. That's how we do it. That's another week of Ash's Fantasy Facts, week number nine. Want to remind you guys, if you have any questions, comments, concerns, ash at ktar.com, email, Twitter, ash620, Facebook, Mark Asher, call me, text me, email, do whatever. Just get your lineups in on time. And don't forget your bye weeks this week, San Fran and Denver, Jacksonville, St. Louis, Tennessee, and Washington. Get your lineups in on time, and I wish you the best of luck in week number nine. I got a feeling